up everyone it's amy the infamous aka now it's amy the goddess so i hope you all can hear me good i know it's a lot better when i upload the videos for the audio instead of going live every time i go live i have audio issues doesn't matter what microphone i use it's just always something with that so i'm only going to go live for the mini readings or at least try to so we have here three piles Pile one is this cereal, as you can see it. Um, pile two is the little waffle. Pile three is the orange. So, those are your three piles. You can definitely choose more than one if you're drawn to it. Just please keep in mind, this is a collective reading, so use your discernment. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, information to book is down in the description box. Timestamps to choose your reading, to choose your pile, will be down in the comment section. Thank you to those of you that are showing me love and support, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. You know, you guys know I have some issues sometimes, but you guys still love me. And I appreciate those type of people on here. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check. Oh, as the title says, I didn't mention that. Who is viewing you is a snack. Who's viewing you as a snack? We'll see who it is and what they're kind of thinking. We'll get some details on that. Welcome in, Power One. Oh my gosh, Sassy's also over here, <clears throat> my dog. So let's see, who is viewing you as a snack, Power Number One? Let's shuffle these cords. We have... I don't want to take those. Okay. The Magician. A Queen of Wands. Hmm... In a Scorpio. Now this is interesting. So this person, their zodiac sign could be Virgo, Pisces, Aries, or Scorpio. Now it says here, stuck in the middle, hidden information. So this could be a person that feels stuck in the middle between you and someone else either between you and another lover or you and another friend of theirs. They feel stuck in the middle somehow. Uh, this is obviously someone that does talk to you. Um, it's giving me like you guys are having a fresh start in some way. And this doesn't have to be just relationship, right? Because you never know who's secretly crushing on you or viewing you as a snack, you know? But it's giving me more so friend vibes. This person's very confident. They're attractive themselves, but I feel like they see themselves in you in certain ways. And so they like your confidence. And it does say they plotted revenge on you. So is it that this very person that has plotted revenge on you also thinks that you're a snack or is attracted to you? We have switched up. So this is like someone that you felt like switched up on you, some type of friend. Maybe you guys are trying to be friends again. Or maybe you still feel this way, but like you're stuck in the middle of it. Um, let's see. This could also be like an ex person. I'm getting two stories here. It could be an ex person that, you know, went to someone else as revenge. Like they didn't really care about that person. They went to that person as revenge on you. It says, don't be a hoarder. So this person could have like a lot of random things. It's giving me like they like to thrift or they like to garage sale or you know some people do get things out of the trash quite literally but they could be someone like that's like that <clears throat> it does say backwards compliments so this person could give you backwards compliments 
what else do we have so in love so this person actually could think that they're in love with you that's quite interesting but they feel unloved from you so that's like wow prophet this person could have prophetic dreams about you this could be someone that you partied with party you have fun with you went out to bars with or you do this now um they may have a fun career or they really like their career this person they like what they do for money or work i'm hearing oh my god this person could be an addict of some sort drugs or alcohol i'm hearing that song i wait how's it go oh my god it's by Noah cyrus i wanna be your lover i don't wanna be your friend you don't know what you got till it's gone my dear so tell me that you love me again those of you that had a um ex but you used to be friends with this person years before you dated them could also be talking about this person but i also feel like it's an actual friend that's the same gender as you so i really am picking up on two people for this pile now use your discernment if it's both people for you or it's just one or the other let's see what else we got here this person could have bought you food at one point look oh my god lovers and friends i'm telling you these are two like they were both your friends at one point or they both are friends now some of you you know how some people are friends with their exes or you end up friend zoning an ex or something I feel like that's kind of what it was that's one of the people here or it's like they were a friend for years and then you dated them or you had sex with them and then there's an actual friend that is the same gender as you i don't know if y'all did anything or not but it's like these two energies that are coming out that's viewing you as a whole snack. Now, Neil, what are they finding so tasteful about you? Like, what is going on? Last minute. Let them go. I think because you guys are like very detached this is kind of what's bringing these people to you because you easily let go of things you're not like bothered by things for too long these people like that about you let's see what else copy one of these people could copy you or you know you could be like a trendsetter push pull method and i think that's what you guys do you push pull without realizing it you come in, you show them the time of their life, and then you pull back. And you just keep doing that to these people, or this is how they're viewing it. Maybe it's just life, you know, you, you're you not trying to do any manipulation tactics, but it's just like the way your life is set up. And so it's super attractive to them that you don't just give them all of your time. These people could watch you online and they could like what they see one of them is a low-key hater but it's also like you're a snack i want you but like i hate that you're so hot but like i also want you and i feel like that's the friend vibe that i'm getting like the same gender as you temporary you're poison to me so yeah i feel like these people view you as kind of dangerous and they're liking that like you're not good for them and then they're liking that you're not good for them honestly um so i feel like because it says don't bottle it up these people are bottling up their feelings for you they have a lot of sexual tension towards you and look makeup sex they kind of want to have that makeup sex with you because it's been bottled up it's been making them angry that they can't get to you and that you're being some type of challenge i like to fuck with you just to make up with you because at the end of the day, you know, you don't want to wake up. I don't know how the rest of those lyrics go. Let me just stop pretending like you know. But, um, I got a plan. Get naked, get naked. That's actually a song by Britney Spears. 
Look it up. It's, it's honestly like the best song ever. You'll have it on repeat. Um, aggressive. Okay. Why do these people want to be aggressive with you? Why am I getting blank cards coming out of here? Okay, comedian. One of these people is funny. Maybe both of them are funny. They both talk a lot. Are they both air signs or air Venus or or air? What the hell is a communicative? That's the Mercury, right? That's the Mercury. They might both have air Mercury or fire. Apply pressure. So both of these people are going to start applying pressure more, trying to hang out with you more. Trying to buy you things, trying to sweet swap you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, this is pretty obvious now at this point in time. So you guys let me know below if this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to move on to pile two. Do 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 do. Okay. Yes, that was my voice. That was not the mic. It's 11 11 right now on the timer. So, how to? Who is viewing you as a snack? Let me shuffle and I'll be right back. Okay. Who is viewing Vassal? Many. Ooh. You got many people. I wouldn't be surprised. Pile two. I would not be surprised if you have multiple piles that you have picked up. You might be all three damn piles, but pile two. You have multiple people obsessed with you. The devil next to the seven of cups. Yeah, this is multiple people. This isn't just one or two. It's like a multiple groups. I don't want to say groups of people because this could be different individuals, right? But lots of people are obsessed with you. Handful of them. So this pile might be kind of long, but also, like I said, if we don't get all the information out, click all three damn piles. Okay, 1217. Let's pull more cards. Hold on. Who, who is this? And it's not even like they're viewing you as a snack. This is full on obsession. Okay, I'm hearing this song like da, ba, da, my baby daddy, whatever. So if you guys have a baby daddy or a baby mama, that's definitely one of the options. Because I'm hearing that song come through. I'm channeling. Uh, 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 uh. Who's doing this? A smile. This could be someone, okay. Someone's trying to spin the block as well. Someone that you never dated, but you, I mean, you never officially were in a relationship with them, but maybe you did date them. You were in the talking phase with them or something. This person wanna spin the block, but they got a lot going on in their life. And that's one of these people, this person. Um. They, have, they could have a lot going on at work. Like, they're really working hard right now. Look, work. It's a hard-working person. They could, like, be on the boss of the business. They might be, like, a, a team lead, a manager. Like, they might be in, like, a high-up position or working for that type of position. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. They have a lot of competition because there's multiple people after you. But that's one of the people, someone that you used to date or talk to. And uh, let's see if we can get their zodiac sign or something so we can narrow that down. It could be a Gemini. Uh, we got Libra. Who is this person that wants to be the blog that's working real hard? They could also be a Pisces. we also have Aries but that could also be their Venus sign since you know we're asking who's attracted to you in a sense like who's viewing you as a snack so it could be their Venus sign as well it could be an Aries Pisces a Libra or a Gemini um one of these people is your lover so someone that you're in a relationship with 
And if you're not in a relationship, they still view you as, like, their person. So it's one of those people, too. And I'm sure you know who that is because that's someone you were, were or are long-term with. Now let's see the other people. If I can get anything. Someone, someone that's crushing. But they really just want a hunch. Because we got the Knight of Wands right next to it. It's going to be a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo. But you're not really interested. Because you know that's what they want. You're like, ugh. You also could have someone that is famous with their eye on you. That is viewing you as a snack. And it doesn't have to be worldwide fame. This could be like a hundred thousand followers or two hundred thousand followers or like eighty thousand followers it's something like that like i don't feel like it's like a million but i feel like it could be a couple hundred thousand or less you know i wouldn't say more than two hundred thousand now so lots of people on social media could be viewing you as a snack too people that see you out strangers like, you get a lot of people that are too scared to talk to you because they, they think you're just so out of their league and beautiful. They might give you compliments sometimes, but sometimes people won't, but you'll catch them staring at you. That's, like, all the time, I feel like, for this pile. Anyways, I learned my lesson. Past person. So, yeah, someone from the past as well, an ex they you taught them a huge lesson and they are still viewing you as a snack there's someone that's secretly gay they're into the same gender that you are so a same gender person is also viewing you as a snack and um i feel like they make this obvious to you to be honest because it says od right next to it so this person makes it obvious, so it's not really like they're secret gay. They could just be gay. But for others of you, maybe it is not secret gay. But, who else do we have here? Family. Now, that's weird. You could have someone that you used to date and talk to, or you are talking to now. They're family. Their brother, their sister, their cousin, their uncle is also viewing you as a snack. So, if your person or people that are talking to you into introduce you to their friends or family, their friends and family are also viewing you as a snack and are attracted to you. Nice to meet you. See, look, people that you just first meet. This is giving me the vibe, like, why is everyone so in love with me? Could it be my love stole my energy? Like, I really feel like everyone likes you everyone's attracted to you you may somehow be everyone's type but this gives you a lot of spiritual attacks but this is a whole nother video but yeah because you're so attractive how to either physically or energetically or both this gives you a lot of spiritual attacks which could make your face break out this could make um goddamn other weird things happen to you this could be making you gain weight in certain areas that you don't want or like notice wrinkles that were not there before. This is like all due to spiritual attack. So you need to do return to cinders or like somehow transmute the energy. Long term. So people that have been in your life for a while view that view you as a snack as well. People that you work with are used to work with. No good is coming up. So maybe people are viewing you as no good though. You know when people assume when you're attractive that you're just no good? That could be what's going on here. That might be a little bit. Okay. So lots of people. Everybody. Let's just say that. Everybody. Pile two. Is being used as a snack. Everyone that you meet and come across that is not your own literal family. My foot just fell asleep. So just had to mention that to you. Anyways, please like the video, please subscribe, please comment. Only nice things, please, because I'm sensitive. Alright, pile three. Who's being as a snake? I sound like I said snake. I'm a snake. Okay. Pile three. Okay. 
someone that is stuck on you you had an ending with this person you had an ending with this person and they're still watching you they're still holding on to you because this person seen themselves being with you long term I'm here I want to have your baby okay let's see what else oh my god this is another hot pile you guys are also hot he's doing it as a snack Okay, first off, lots of spiritual people are viewing you as a snack. You might have beautiful energy or a beautiful soul. And they see that. But let me just say here, um, it does seem kind of like an ex is viewing you as a snack. Like they could still be watching you. I don't know if it's a serious ex or not, but they definitely viewed you as serious. But I'm also getting like your ex's exes. Does that make sense? Or if you are talking to someone, dealing with someone now, their exes. That's the vibe here. They're attracted to you. It's coming together. So this is going to make more sense in a second. Okay. Setting trends. So yeah, you might have came from pile two. Which obviously I feel like pile two is going to be all three piles for some reason. Oh, my foot fell asleep. I got to move that. Okay let's see let karma happen oh my god argue so this could even be people that you have argued with are viewing you as attractive viewing you as a snack someone that they just think looks real good lust yeah lusting after you Those of you that go to church or like some type of classes, people at that church or in those classes are viewing you as a snack. Like it says, stop holding on. So this might even be someone that you're completely over. You're you're completely moved on from this person. You barely think about this person. But this person still thinks about you. They're still holding on. And I'm hearing that song. And if you think you look good that much oh baby you should go and love yourself and if you think that i'm still holding on to something you should go and love yourself that song's coming through so this could be how you feel about this person honestly um because you're not holding on to this person at all but they think you are they think they have a special place in your heart when you actually you might hate them you might not even think about them how about that? You might feel nothing at all. I need you. So that's making me think of that Rihanna song, You Needed Me. Trying to fix your inner issues with a bad bitch. Yeah, that's kind of what somebody was doing. They're trying to fix their inner issues with a bad bitch. All right, let's see what else. What's coming up? You're not going to write me. Okay, so someone that assumes you are using them is using you as a snack still now this could be those of you that are escorts or dancers or whatever this could be you know your tricks as you call them but those of you that are not in that type of field of work then um this is just people that thought you're using them in general who you could also have spirits because it says afterlife that are crushing on you and viewing you as a snack. We also have... Yeah, I feel like it's your ex's exes. Okay? They're viewing you as snacks. They might be like... They might not be gay, but like... They, they know you look good. And some of them, maybe they are gay. Or bi. And if you are talking to someone... You are in a relationship with someone... Their exes are viewing you as a snack. Might be a little jealousy there. Career life. So people also in your career life are viewing you as a snack. This could be coworkers. Um, this could be someone that you called out or triggered. 
someone that you recently called out or triggered and you would know because they could have said something to you or confront you or be like hey this triggered me or they just showed you it triggered them to be that person too viewing you as this maniac anything else supermodel yeah you guys are hot you look like models um exes so all of your exes and your exes exes and your current person that you're talking to is exes so that's what's going on here this could also be like your friends partners you have a friend that has a partner or your friends ex partners that also are into you viewing you as a damn snack and i feel like it has something to do with the combination of your face and your body like you might have like nice hips nice butt very nice nose nice just nice facial harmony is what i'm getting your hair might really stick out i don't know what kind of hair you got um it's like certain features on you that's just like wow mesmerizing you know i also feel like it could be the voice something with your voice too and your laugh and your personality uh, you're the full damn package let me just stop okay so that is the reading i hope you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up subscribe turn on the notification bell that way you can see when i'm posting or when i'm on live doing the ten dollar mini reading well it's 11 now um yeah i had really fun if anyone wants to book a personal information's down in the description box see you next reading